What I want this team to become is a team that people really take a lot of pride in watching because of how hard they play. My hope is that it just becomes infectious. Here's Anderson. I don't think they're ready for the truth. In the corner. With their teamwork and their wanting to share the ball and wanting to do things together as a group. Mama said, Baby, don't let them break you. And to try to reach their fullest potential as a group. Hard work and teamwork and coachability and us serving and caring for our players. I, I think those kind of things you're going to see in, in how they play. The sixth head coach at the University of Portland women's basketball history, Michael Meek. Gotta keep your head high. You're having to make a tough split to get that. You gave up something really easy over here. Okay. Our goal has been to become the best version of ourselves possible. If we're reaching our potential by the end of the season, no matter what those goals are, I think that's going to be something that we can continue to build upon. When you pay attention to the details and you do things the right way, the wins and losses kind of take care of themselves. Walker! Big clean up by Walker, who's having one of her best games of the season. To try to take away the skip pass from our high post. The middle? Yeah. So whoever man throws it in, you just went and basically just choked the high post right away. Whenever you come in a new situation, you're never quite sure what to expect, but the players here have been amazing. And so I think when you are in a coaching situation, I think that's probably the most important thing is that you want to surround yourself with the best people possible. And I feel like we have a really amazing group of people. Well, he has like a few non-negotiables, which is like be a great teammate. And I think that's really important to establish a good culture is to create that family kind of feeling with everyone. You can't always find a team that's so close and such a family. The way we play on the court and the way we train together, we're doing it for each other and we know we're there for each other. He wanted us to all have fun and enjoy playing basketball. And I think as the season continues to go on, we all learn just to enjoy the game and all the other coaches are on board and they just make it super fun. One of the things we always want to do is continue to, to have people come back, be part of the Pilot family. Even though that they've graduated, they want to come back and still be part of it. No matter what happened in terms of wins and losses on the floor, when they look back at the four years that they've spent at the University of Portland, they're going, that was an amazing experience that we had. I think our kids genuinely have loved to play and have loved to be a part of the teams that we've helped lead. Pacific won the first two in the regular season, but Portland wins the one that's most important. The game that puts them into the semifinals. We share each other's successes and failures all the time, yeah. right? Because we're when Katie makes a shot, the whole team made the shot. Okay, and I and I feel like you continue to do that, and, and that's why I know when your number's called, you're going to be ready. We didn't come to this tournament to win one game. For me, it was really cool to see how much we've grown in the sense that we all just really enjoy the time we get to spend together. And it felt almost as if that was a family environment. People can feel confident coming in. We're all here for each other. Our coaches do a really good job of giving us all confidence and making us believe that we can accomplish anything. If I have any problems, I know I can go talk to him. I know I trust him, that he can tell me what I gotta do. And we all respect him so much that we just do it. And we wanna do it for him. Andrews through the defense, scores! Haley Andrews gives the Pilots a lead with three to play. Loetta across midcourt at the buzzer! No good! Down go the Zags! Pick 10, they're in the championship round. Like, what can you tell me? Like, it's my birthday and, I mean, what a celebration to have. He's trusted us, we've trusted him, and we've managed to finish fourth. We've gone to the quarterfinals, we've won that. We just won the semis, so I think he's just done an excellent job of taking it game by game. I think our leadership, Kate Anderson and Haley Andrews and, and Matty Mulheim, like all three of them have been just great leaders and great captains. They've really, really been motivated to do well, and this team just has really been hungry to exceed expectations. We all look at them like our big sisters, but they have helped us in terms of like having standards that we set on the court and off the court. And yeah, they kind of just like bounce off what Meeks says. And then I might actually cut off it, or I might come right back to the ball, and then you might just flip into a ball screen either way. I think he has just brought a really good perspective for all of us, just knowing that everyone matters and everyone is a part of what we're doing. We're all bought into Meek and the assistant coaches what they want to do for this program. We're all really like bought into that as a collective group. 
And I just think playing team basketball on the court is our biggest strength. Everyone gives 100% all the time. It's hard to beat teams that do that. We're making some huge, like some huge growth since where we were at the beginning of the year to where we are now and how great our league is. I'm excited to see what this team looks like in, in this type of environment. I really have a lot of confidence in them. You gotta keep your head high. And that they're gonna come play together. Just a few steps left. Work hard and play for each other and, and just leave it out there for 40 minutes. We've already improved so much in the last few months. I think we can do so much more in the next few years to come. I'm most excited about coming in as a freshman, creating friendships that will last a lifetime. And I think that every year I am here at Portland, like having new freshmen come in, that would be really exciting to like show them the ropes. They expect you to give up, say dare to be different. There's Fowler. the WCC newcomer of the year, Alex Fowler. Andrews with the ball, and Fowler involved in the play. Andrews one-on-one -on, -one on the block, and again! For a group, I think, that was picked to take 10th in the league, and to achieve the things that they've achieved, couldn't be any happier for this group. Martinson for the win! And it's so good! The progress we have made in one year is pretty crazy, and it's not a small thing, like it's definitely something to talk about. If we just made that progress in one year, like imagine how good the program's gonna be in two years. What my hope is, is by the end of the year, we're playing to our potential, or at least as close to that as possible, that we've grown throughout the year, and at the end of the year that, that everyone is doing it for each other. So that's what I'm hoping, is that through the year that we develop things that we're playing at a different level because everyone cares so much about each other. We're really appreciative of yeah. you guys. Yeah. 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 And this experience has been unreal. 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 So thank you guys. Thank you guys. Yeah. Yeah. We love you. We love you. We love you. Love you. Oh. you. Oh. Welcome to team. Love me family. Just for believing in us. Group hug. Yeah. 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 Yeah.